Today in England, thousands of children will be missing lessons at school. In many cases, there will be a very good reason for this, like sickness or a hospital appointment. But others are missing lessons day after day for reasons that can be avoided. In spite of efforts made by many schools, there is still a high rate of absenteeism in this country. Today we're publishing figures which reveal the true scale of the problem of what is called persistent absence. This is when a child is absent from school for at least 15% of the time. More than 450,000 children missed this amount of school during last autumn and spring terms. Over the course of a year, that is the equivalent of a whole month of school missed and hundreds of valuable lessons lost. In addition, a million pupils missed half a day or more of school per week, equating to 10% of school time missed. We know that of pupils who miss between 10 and 20% of school, only 35% of those children manage to achieve five good GCSEs, including English and Maths. But of pupils who miss less than 5% of school, more than 70% of those children achieve this, uh, these qualifications. We have to break the vicious cycle that starts with a child losing interest in their studies, leads them to missing school, and eventually results in a life of poor job prospects and missed opportunities. If we want pupils in England to leave school with the qualifications and skills they need to become successful adults, then we have to take a zero tolerance approach to poor attendance. Many schools have tried and tested methods for tackling truancy and persistent absence. But every school needs to find a way to tackle long-term absence. With a new, tougher threshold to define what persistent absence is, we're asking schools to step in earlier, before the problem really takes hold. So we've asked our behaviour advisor, Charlie Taylor, himself a successful head teacher, to work with schools to help them address this extremely important issue. And this includes working with schools on the role that parents should play in making sure their children are in school. Improving attendance must be something that all schools prioritise. The evidence is clear of the impact it can have on children's education and ultimately their future success.